Hi Fit Farm, I hope everyone is doing great today. Welcome to our morning stretching yoga routine. If you are new, welcome. My name is Stella, don't leave without subscribing. We are going to begin our routine in a comfortable sitting position. For you, I will be sitting on my heels. You want to place one arm on your chest and another arm on your tummy. We are going to begin taking in deep breaths and strong exhalations. We shall do five of these, everyone in their own tempo. Begin by taking a deep breath in and breathing in. Just give me one more. Very good, feeling everything around you calming down. Next, we want to get into the child's pose. You want to stretch your hands forward and bringing your head onto the mat. And we are going to hold this pose while breathing in and breathing out. Abs a tightly acting towards the spine. And next we are going to move the hands toward the right side trying to keep that head in center so that you are feeling that stretch in the left upper body, the arms, the shoulders, and hold it right there and continue breathing in, breathing out, abs are tightly tucked in. And you will move your hands back to center, then move them to the left, trying to keep your head in the center so that you get to feel that strong stretch in your right upper body. And continue breathing in and breathing out. bring your hands back to center and next we want to get into all fours we are going to be doing the cat and cow pose we are going to be doing 10 reps you want to breathe in and bring your back upwards pelvis is tilting in and breathe out come down breathe in and breathe out and your tummy is tightly pulled in towards the spine and breathe out breathe in and breathe out pull that back upwards and bring it down this is very good for your back your abs and for your spine keep going and breathe out I'll just do two more and out and one more and out and get down into that child's pose and hold it stretch it out breathe and get up get back into all fours we are going to be threading the needle we are going to be doing five reps per side you are going to 
reach out your right hand all the way up to the other side of the body bring it up and stretch it all the way up and breathe in bring it down and breathe out stretch it out breathe in bring it down and breathe out stretch it out your abs are tightly pulled in towards the spine bring it in and feeling that stretch in your thoracic spine and bring it back down doing the same for the other side bring it down come all the way up and stretch it out bring it in and stretch it out Just give me two more and stretch and one more and stretch and bring it back. We are going to get into the downwards facing dog and we are going to stretch it all the way. Pulling your butt as high as you can get it. If you want to have that extra stretch in your calves then try to bring your feet down to touch the ground and you are holding it right there feeling that stretch in your arms in your shoulders and breathing abs tightly fixed and pulling towards the spine and keep it holding right there for five four three two one and come up you are going to stretch out that right leg and you are going to continue holding it right there that helps to build some strength as well and breathe in breathe out hold it stretch it out to as high as you can get it and keeping it right there you are going to flex that knee trying to get your knee to face upwards breathe and you are going to bring that right leg down bring it all the way forward and you are going to bend into that right foot and we are going to stretch out the left leg and you are going to raise your hands upwards and you are going to stretch and you are going to hold and breathe and bring it back down and bring that right leg backwards and doing the same for the left leg we want to raise it as high as you can getting those hip flexors stretched out and hold it and breathe and build that strength in your arms keep going and next you want to flex that knee trying to get your knee to face upwards to the roof and keep holding it right there maintaining that strength in your arms and breathe and bring it down and get up flexing into that left foot and you want to bring your hands up and you want to hold it feeling that stretch in your right hip flexors
and don't forget your breathing. And bring it back down and this time you want to turn to the front. If we want to get into that side lunge, we are going to stretch out our left inner thighs and you are going to be holding it right there. Getting or flexing into that right knee and feeling that stretch over here and hold it right there. Maintaining that strength in your legs. Keep holding it right there for five, four, three, two, one. Get up and lean into that left leg. And we are stretching out the inner right thigh and hold it right there. Keep breathing, don't forget your breathing. Abs are always tight. Keep holding that right there for five, four, three, two, one. And you want to get up. Next, we are going to be stretching downwards. We are aiming to touch the ground. We are going to be bending spine after spine, beginning with the neck following it up with the thoracic spine and the lumbar spine and you want to bend as far as your hands can reach and you want to hold it right there now some people will not be able to bend and touch the ground remember your hips um sorry your knees are stretched you are not bending them inwards Keep them stretched in order to obtain maximum stretching. You feel it in your calves. And hold it right there. If you cannot reach the ground, that's a big sign of tense, shortened muscles. Just keep practicing until you can get all the way it is possible. And next you want to get up and folding spine after spine beginning with the lumbar then the thoracic and all the way to the neck and we want to do the opposite uh, stretch you want to bend backwards and you want to hold it right there Feeling that nice stretch in your spine and just let your head fall freely and you want to continue holding it right there for five, four, three, two, one and you want to get up. You want from this position to come down into a deep squat being careful that your knees are not going beyond your feet and we are going to hold this and this is a very good stretch hip opener especially for your glutes you know and you want to keep holding this or you can even just fix your legs just about there in case you can't hold it freely and if you cannot get down all the way down like I am, it's all about practice. Just do what you are able to do. And we are going to be holding this for another five seconds. And from this position, we are going to get down into a lying position. We are going to lie down on our backs. Now, this is the end of our routine. 
feel free to reach out your hands upwards if you want that stretch more and you can stay in this position for as long as you would like it's a very good position for your spine for relaxing it and taking off all the tension i'd love to stay here for as long as i can but i have to close the video and well that is just about it for today for our stretching routine a high five if you've made it all the way up to the end don't forget to leave me a mega thumbs up especially if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave me a comment if you have any questions or something to tell me share the video with your friends and families on social media so that they can join us don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you receive notifications every time i upload a new video don't forget to check out my other videos as well see you in my next video and don't forget to love yourself first and keep fit for health bye for now Thank you.